I am not the player I was here. This is me almost 12 months ago. At this time, I was at the peak of my mechanics, faster than I had ever been. I got to team with players like Tom and Appjack against legends like Turbo Pulsa and players from G2. By the standards I had when I first got Rocket League, this was the dream. It can't get any better than that, right? Well, flash forward to today. This is also me on stream yesterday in front of 500 people, no less, missing the easiest shot of my life. In my defense, I blame it on the uh, input stream lag. Yeah. Today, I wanna tell you why I am voluntarily giving up what you might think is the dream job. You know, to be a YouTuber, to play video games for a living. I'm going to tell you how the entire Rocket League rank system is a pyramid designed to hook you, plant a goal in your mind, and ultimately steal your time and attention. So if you just want to rank up fast, that's totally fine. You can go watch anything else on my YouTube channel or any of the other creators that I happily recommend up here. But if you want to hear something different, something that you probably won't hear from anyone in the Rocket League scene that relies on this game to make money, consider booting up the game, loading into free play, and hearing me out for eight more minutes. Okay, let's start with the problem. The clips you see on social media are bullshit. You see, I remember when I was moving from high school to college during, um, I don't want to be demonetized here, so... The time that the cough was going around, at that time, it was my dream to be a Rocket League YouTuber. I'd watch videos from pros like Arsenal at the time to try to play better. I would watch tutorials from guys like Thanovic and Waiten to try to get better. And I'd even scroll Pulse Fire and Avample's highlight reels to, well, mostly just daydream about being that good. And after a while, I never got to be as good as any of them. But in many ways, I did get my dream of becoming a Rocket League YouTuber. I slowly ranked up to GC3. I got 100K on YouTube, now 300K subs. And guess what? Nobody cares. I still feel like the same person I was three years ago with just as many stupid and made up insecurities. Put differently, I still go to RLCS without a VIP card and I sit in the stands and nobody notices me. Before I go on, quick warning, our coaching sponsor is enrolling just 12 more players this week. The Grand Champ Bootcamp specializes in helping gold through champ ranked players rank up to GC in just 90 days time. When you join, you gain immediate access to a network of over 3,000 competitive players, and then you're tested and matched with a best fit coach based on your custom needs. Every step of the way is personalized as you go so that you make the most ranked progress during just 90 days of improvement. So if you're done being hard stuck, DM the GCB with the keyword stuck to learn more about coaching. I'll have their new client account listed first link in the description below. So click the link and that's keyword stuck to learn more. And what I've learned from this whole clout chasing YouTube grind I've been on for the last three years is that there will always be someone with something you don't have. Look, I get it. We all want to play like we're Zen. We all want to hit clips like we're a Vample. We want to tell stories like Waiting, and we want to crack jokes like we're Sunless Khan. You can actually pinpoint the exact date that everyone decided they did not want to pass anymore. It was July 7th, 2015, the day the game was released. But the thing you have to understand is they are all the best at what they do. Even if you're inspired by them, you won't be happy trying to become somebody else. So much of this whole Rocket League and social media thing is based off of comparisons. Comparisons to others and even comparisons to your former self. But the light bulb moment I had and what made me decide that I no longer want to be a Rocket League YouTuber or I no longer only care about getting SSL is I realized that our goals as people can and should change. Three years ago, you might've looked at a mountain and maybe that mountain is the mountain to get SSL and thought to yourself, I wanna be at the top of that mountain. You might actually get to the halfway point and realize, wait, this mountain that I've been climbing for the last year is great and all, but it's actually 
that mountain over there you know maybe it's the getting good grades in school or getting uh, girls to notice you or <laughs> uh, i have i have very vain goals and the hardest part about all of this is that even if you're a hardworking person you feel bad about climbing up this mountain to get to that second mountain you have to climb down this one you're on and start from zero to climb up the next one. And what I realized is that it's okay to go backwards in something to make progress in something else that's more important to you. Stick with me here. It's like comparing my Rocket League skills to Bob Ross's painting skills. You know, if you came to me and you said, Luke, aren't you upset that you can't paint like Bob Ross? I might say to you, no. And maybe I am jealous that I have no artistic ability whatsoever. But in truth, I don't wake up in the morning with a hole in my heart because I'm not a good painter. In the same way that I am sure Bob Ross, or maybe a better example is like a professional athlete. Who's a professional athlete that's popular right now? Who's a prof I, I really don't watch sports. In the same way that LeBron James or Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't go to sleep at night upset because they're not as good of a Rocket League coach as me. The truth is they don't care because it's not important to them. And why would they want to be like me? This is why I decided to let my rank go. You see, about 12 months ago, after making my YouTube video called 30 Days of Playing with Pros, where I literally played with pros for 30 days, I got to the end and realized getting better at Rocket League or climbing rank didn't make my life better in any way. Don't get me wrong, I'd still love to say I'm SSL to shut up the people in the YouTube comments who tell me I can't coach because I'm not SSL, but we all know living to one-up people in the YouTube comments is not the way to live. And also, all jokes aside, I realized what makes me happy in this game and the reason I still play Rocket League at all is because I get joy by passing on my knowledge to other players in this game. Whether that's through my paid coaching program, whether that's through my free Discord server, or through any of the free videos like this one you're watching here. And yeah, I'm at 3,000 hours now, and I could spend another thousand making that final push from GC2, GC3 to SSL. But after looking forward and thinking about what my life would be like at 4,000 Rocket League hours, I don't know if it would be any better. I would still be teaching the same way I teach right now. I would still want to do all the other things I'm doing in my coaching program and my Discord server, except I would just have less time because I I'm grinding free play to get SSL because then the haters would have to find something else to shit talk about in the comment section. At the end of the day, it's all just made up clout chasing when in reality, nobody fucking cares. I'm not just telling you this about me because I like talking about myself. I actually want you to learn something too. This is what I realized about setting goals. I realized I should have put a swear warning for the kid viewers. Hopefully most of you watching are 18 plus. Social media just fucks our perspective. Because here's the thing, social media will not serve you up just one person with insane mechanics or crazy freestyling or whatever else that's sensational in your YouTube shorts feed, it will serve you hundreds back to back to back. So this is you, you know, scrolling on YouTube shorts or scrolling on your phone, you're watching and you get tricked into thinking that the extremes you're seeing are actually just the norm. You know, if you watch enough Rocket League content, you start to think that Pulse Mezco and Pulse Josh and Avample and Zen mechanics are just like the norm for mechanics. When in reality, the norm in Rocket League is like Diamond One. It's like missing the ball half the time and backflipping on your fast aerials. And this goes for everything in life. Like if you spend enough time on social media, you can find somebody that is the same age as you, that is in better shape than you, that has more money than you, and most importantly, their Rocket League mechanics are better. But here's the catcher. Only some of it is real. Half the shit that you see on YouTube is just cherry picked. From my stream yesterday, you will see two of those clips make it to YouTube videos. But like, if you watch the stream, for every two YouTube clips I hit, you will watch me also hit eight whips miss eight saves. It's like, not only is it cherry picked, but like, who cares? Like, you can always find somebody who's better than you at some things. Look, I know this. I'm telling you this because I sell coaching. The way I keep the lights on and the way I can afford to pay my editors is I sell you something. This is what I do for a living. Almost everybody here, including myself, who makes these YouTube videos is here because we make a living off of showing you sensational things that hook your attention and that maybe even 
convince you to buy our products or services. And that's not to say that selling things is bad because a lot of people will sell you stuff that makes your life way better than it costs you. But especially when we're talking about a video game here and you look at me as somebody who just makes Rocket League videos, you might be surprised to hear me say like, yeah, Rocket League YouTubers make money uploading YouTube videos. And like Psyonix, the people who run this game that you enjoy playing, like at the end of the day, they're a company. And if enough people aren't fighting to get SSL and aren't playing the game, then the game stops existing. It just goes out of business, right? And so bottom line, of course, there's gonna be all these, you know, crazy clips you see on social media. And it's not a bad thing because some of it is good. But here's the takeaway. Here's why I'm making this video. And if you're unhappy with your rank, if you're unhappy with where you're at in life, what I wanna tell anybody who's watching is this. What most people say to do, and what I hear on social media a lot is focus on yourself. You know, stop comparing yourself to others. You can only compare yourself to yourself. But I think that's wrong too. Look, if we go back to the start of the video, if I compare myself now at 21 and a half years old to 20 year old Luke, who was cracked on the sticks and playing with pros, I could feel sad and depressed and I could lay in bed and think I'm going nowhere. But that's just one thing that I valued more 18 months ago than I value now. Just because I cared about my rank 18 months ago when I was getting into Rocket League doesn't mean I have to grind the game for the rest of my life. I actually made this mistake, not just with Rocket League, but with my coaching program. You know, I used to think I would be happier that if more people joined the boot camp, you know, if we sold 50 seats, I wasn't happy because we could have sold 100. After a while, what I realized, what makes me happy isn't how many seats of coaching we sell, but how happy the people are that we sell too. So when I got sick and I was in the hospital two months ago and we went back down to selling, I think it was 60 seats. What I realized is I was more happy selling to 60 people that absolutely loved what we do and had the best time ever than selling to 150 people just so I could go on YouTube and say 150 people bought this last month. Here's the lesson. What's better than comparing yourself to others or even yourself to yourself, which can be good and bad too. What's better is comparing your current actions to your current values. Ask yourself, what do I care about today? Not what have other people told me I should care about? Not what have my parents told me I should care about? Not what have my friends told me I should care about? What do I care about? And how can I just focus on making my actions line up with my values? Let me give you an example. For me right now, my values are not ranking up, winning tournaments or getting SSL. So am I upset that I'm not SSL right now? No, right now, my values are number one, making the best possible YouTube videos I can before I retire in the coming few months. Number two, delivering the best quality coaching out there to those of you who support the channel and who sign up for our coaching boot camps. And number three, making a lasting mark on the Rocket League community in a way that only I can, not trying to be somebody else. So to do this, I realized that over these last couple months and maybe year that I'm here, I have to stop caring about how other people judge me. I had to stop letting it get to me when, you know, angry people would write things in the YouTube comments or when whoever on Twitter has beef with me all of a sudden and they want to stir the pot and add my name into it. A lot of people will fight for your time and attention, and they will yell at you to make you think it's important or that it will make you better off. But sometimes stepping out of the ring, not putting on the sparring gloves and getting in a fight is the best thing you could do. Conclusion, I don't play like the guy you saw at the start of the video anymore. I am not as good at Rocket League as I used to be. And if you catch me on stream, you're probably not watching me for my gameplay. But what I do have now that cracked teenage Luke didn't is a coaching program that genuinely helps and has helped hundreds of people. I have now connections with people in the Rocket League scene that I used to dream I could meet. And on YouTube here, I have a library of free educational videos that I myself and proud of, not because of however many subscribers you see below or however many views. I'm not proud because of that. I'm proud because I know this stuff that I'm putting out for free before I retire is better and will be better than the courses and the tutorials that most people will charge you for. Key points. 
it's okay to have different values. You can be inspired by social media and things you see online, but don't let your values be manipulated by somebody else, especially somebody else who's just trying to get some cheap attention from you or a quick buck. And for many of my viewers, who are here because we want to learn Rocket League and we want to master Rocket League and who also like to do hard things. Remember that just because something is hard doesn't mean it's worth doing. You know, just because Psyonix arbitrarily decided to raise the skill ceiling to SSL and now you have to spend 4,000 hours to get SSL doesn't mean you now have to set aside 4,000 hours of your life to get SSL to be happy. And that goes for everyone watching. Do what you want to do. Be true to your own true goals. And most importantly, buy my coaching. Because here's the thing. I don't know if I've mentioned it this video yet, uh, <laughs> but I'm retiring soon. You know, the clock's ticking. And even though I'm approaching my retirement, I do not have retirement level money, if you know what I'm saying. Click the link in the description and buy my coaching. That way I can sip margaritas on the beach or at the very least, pay rent when I'm no longer working. Show them pictures of me getting attention from the girls who used to ignore me back in high school, but no longer now that I can hit sick rocket league shots like this. Huh? Pretty good, right? Pretty good? Just kidding. That was photoshopped and uh, women still don't notice me. Thanks for listening.